Gardner, there's a lot of talk about looking at the tape to kind of see games like that. When some of the mistakes are mental, though, how do you guys evaluate that to get on to the next one? Yeah, I think you just have to, you know, start back with your process and practice at walkthrough and meetings. I think our attention to detail needs to get tightened up a little bit. Uh, but I think those are all changes we're capable of making, willing to make, and uh, are going to make this week. So feeling good about it. Is there a sense of urgency with this game, or is it kind of business as usual? Absolutely. I mean, there's some of both. You know, I think your process doesn't change, but I think you have to double down on your process. The things that had us winning four in a row, you know, the attention, the detail, how we practice, how we walk through. Uh, I think all that stuff has to come back in a big way this week. Was there something that really did stick out when you were watching the tape as like, oh, this was my personal mistake that I kept making? Or... Um, that was the thing. I think it was, you know, kind of all across the board, like here and there. There wasn't, you know, any one thing in particular. I think we all had stuff that we could clean up. But, you know, if one guy makes a mistake on every play, you know, you kind of end up with a mess on your hands, and that's kind of what happened. It's not totally a primetime game, but do you kind of relish the opportunity to play in the national spotlight this weekend? Uh, not necessarily, man. Just excited to go play 11-on-11. 11 11. That's what matters. Uh, we're just trying to find wins with a, however we can get them. Is there an adjustment with the shorter day, with one fewer day this week? I mean, I know you guys try to keep the same schedule, but it's a quick, we're here on Tuesday now. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, your preparation gets turned around. I think you got to get your body going a little bit quicker. Uh, you kind of lose a day. Uh, but I think the coaches did a great job putting the schedule uh, you know, in front of us last week. Uh, we've been ready for this, and uh, I think everybody's on it. Watt and Highsmith are both in the concussion protocol for them. Do you have to prepare any differently, wondering if they're going to play or not, or just kind of keep your head down and not pay attention to that? Uh, I don't know. I think you got to kind of prepare that they're playing. You know, they're both really good players. Um, I think we'll have a plan for them. Um, if they don't play, you know, we adjust as that goes. But definitely have to prepare because they, they are really good. They're not the steel curtain, but what stands out to you from this defense that you've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's that same. Like, you play the Steelers' defense. They have their own brand of ball. You know, it's very physical, tough. These backers play downhill. They're really good up front. Um, so, I mean, I think that it's still that brand of ball that uh, they've always carried. Thanks, Carter. All right, thank you. Thank you.